qualitative ultrasound biomicroscopy of the normal anterior segment. UBM is a high resolution ultrasound technique which allows non-invasive in vivo imaging of the ocular anterior segment structures. Before interpreting the UBM images of diseased eyes, it is essential to understand the structures seen in the imaging of the normal eye. In the axial scan, the cornea, anterior chamber, iris and anterior lens surface can be easily identified. UBM is able to differentiate the cross-sectional structure of cornea. Epithelium forms a smooth reflection line on the surface. The hyperreflective line below the epithelium is Bowman's membrane. The layer with lower and regular reflection is the corneal stroma. The second hyperreflective line is the Desmond's membrane. Endothelial layer is difficult to differentiate from Desmond's membrane. The anterior chamber is seen as an eco-poor area between the cornea and the anterior lens surface and iris. The anterior lens surface is seen as a brightly reflective line extending below the iris. This UBM image is taken through a typical ciliary process and gives a cross-sectional view through the anterior chamber angle region of a normal subject. This is obtained by orienting the probe in a radial fashion at the limbus. The scleral spur is the most important and the only constant landmark in the angle structure. The scleral spur is located where the trabecular meshwork meets the interface line between the sclera and the ciliary body traced to the anterior chamber. The iris epithelium can be imaged as a hyperreflective line on the posterior surface of the iris. The UBM image also shows the relationship of iris margin to the anterior lens surface. The eco-poor region bounded by posterior iris, ciliary body, zonule, anterior lens surface is the posterior chamber. The area under the peripheral iris and above the ciliary process is the ciliary sulcus. The anterior zonule is seen as a medium reflective line extending from the ciliary process to the anterior lens surface where it inserts smoothly. The UBM images show the variability of the ciliary process configuration depending on whether the scan is passing through a process or a valley between the ciliary processes. In this UBM image, the individual ciliary processes are seen in the transverse section. UBM provides two-dimensional grayscale images of the various anterior segment structures and allows all these structures to be imaged simultaneously in their normal state as they occur in the living eye. 
the real time image is displayed on that video monitor and can be recorded for qualitative and quantitative analysis